Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much for coming back for text B. All right, so the first text was about Egypt. The second text has some kind of connection, and the connection is it's another African country. And again, it's looking at their history of trade. So this will help us to sort of think about task C when we have to get information from both texts. All right, so let's do the same thing, and let's go down into the text where I've put the question next to the paragraph that you need. Okay, so number one. Although Morocco enjoyed trade with England in the 1500s, why did it later see this na nation as a threat? Okay, so we've got this big word here, England. All right, if we find that in the text, we know we've got a good idea of finding the answer. But we've got to be careful here, because look, this paragraph 2 is trying to fool you. It's trying to trick you. Look, 1500s, 1500s, okay? European trading partners, the English, okay? So here, it's, this text is just saying that at this time, Morocco started trading with some European countries. So the English, the Genoese, part of Italy, of course, and the Spanish, okay? And what were they trading? But look at the question. Why did it later see this nation as a threat? So don't include this because this is when it is, the text is just saying in paragraph two up here, it's just saying this is when it, Morocco started to trade with this people. And that doesn't really answer the question, does it? Look, why did it later see this nation as a threat? Okay, England again here. So we saw them up here, but here they are again. Okay, threat. Ah, uh, okay, look, threat's there. All right, so. Don't be fooled by paragraph number two. Read on and look at all of the question to make sure you get the right answer, okay? Once Britain took Gibraltar in 1704, it was also a potential threat, okay? So it's trading, but because Gibraltar is very close to Morocco, like 20, 30 kilometers, something like that, it was a threat. Okay, so be careful, all right? <laughs> Okay, the first time you see the word England in the text, that's not always going to be where the answer is. So make sure you read all of the question and answer it. Okay, number two. Why was Morocco dependent on European ships for overseas trade? Okay, to be dependent on something means you need that thing's help. You, you rely on them. Okay, I'm dependent on, I rely on. Oh, look, here we go, relied on, okay, for maritime trade. Maritime is a word relating to the sea, traveling by the sea. So overseas, okay, here has a similar meaning to the maritime, okay. It's the, oops, it's the idea that they're, go, they're going across sea to trade with countries. Okay, so why? Why did it rely on this? Okay, because it didn't have a merchant marine of its own, okay, so... Okay, we've got cause and effect in this sentence. Why did this happen? Okay, it did this because here. Okay. Okay, on to number three. All right, so mid 18th century, 1764, that's in the middle of the 18th century, approximately. All right, in the question we've got establish as the verb. Here we've got establishment, the noun. Okay. What did the Moroccan state establish? All right, this is fairly straightforward, the establishment of. Okay. And just to make sure that we've got the right thing, <laughs> let's look at the rest of the question. To fully control European trade. Okay, we've got the date. An effort to monopolize. Okay, monopolize means to be the the one thing that controls all others. Okay, so this one's quite straightforward, I think. All right. The wording of the question is very similar to what we see in the paragraph. We just got to remember the date. And okay, hopefully we know that monopoly means take full control of something. Okay, on to number four. Okay, remember this is um, this is the final question for this text, isn't it? All right. Okay, so another classic cause and effect 
question. Okay, if, if an event contributes to something, then it's one of the things that causes it to happen. Okay, so, all right, Morocco's loss of independence, and we've got a date here. So, lead to is followed by a gerund verb, so lead to something happening. Okay, Morocco losing its independent status. There we go, that's in the text. Early 20th century. Okay, 1912. All right, so what factors? This is a big clue here as well. It's plural. So are you going to write one? Well, if you're feeling lucky, you might try and write one. But look, we're asking for more than one. Factors. Okay, so all right, we've got this. We know that contributed to means that something helped to cause this. So what? Here we go at the start of the sentence. One and two. So my advice here, put both in, because we're asking for more than one. Okay? All right, so I hope that gives you a little bit of help in seeing where the answers are in this text. All right, please come back and we'll have a look at the synthesis exercise. Okay, bye for now.